Well, I wake up my, at my house, I feel really drowsy, like I don't want to come, but then um, I just eat, change, brush my teeth, comb my hair, and get to school, and then I just brighten up. Because in the morning, we always take a two, two laps around the high school. That kind of gets me like pumped up. And then we'll have morning, morning meeting, which is where a student will lead the morning with a greeting, a sharing, and an activity. And then I usually go on to first period humanities. And then normally, right now, around this time, we would be working on our project. In the beginning of projects, there's a lot of sitting in classrooms and like normal school. Once you're actually doing projects, it's mainly all project work time. It's not like your normal classroom where you're sitting down the entire day and you're just getting lectures and you're just writing down stuff. It's more interactive. Like there's like a lot of positive energy here. I actually look forward to coming to school. Our teacher always makes the activity fun. She puts on videos, um, lets us go on the computer and research. If you're working on the same thing as someone else, then maybe you could work with them, maybe give some critique. If you're just wandering around and you're done with everything, you could ask for help. You're not confined to one single classroom. You're kind of moving between classrooms, doing the work you need to do. Yeah, it's kind of all over the place. It's like, um, I would say, controlled chaos. Like everybody's doing their own thing, but it's controlled. I think freedom in school is very important because everyone's different and everyone learns different. I feel like it's a great environment for you to be free because in college, no one's like going to tell you what to do and everything. It's pretty much on your own. I do a lot of tours for the school and people are often confused. Like, if you have so much project work time, how can you ensure that students are actually doing work and not just slacking off? I think it's kind of, the school gives you a lot of personal responsibility. If you don't do your work, then you're going to have a lot of homework and that's kind of a burden upon yourself. So I like the freedom that's at the school because it teaches students a really good lesson on time management. Being able to determine what they need to get done now, later, and try to use their time as wisely as they can. I think the thing that stands out to me the most is how everybody's comfortable talking to each other, asking for help, raising their hand. I love project-based learning because you get to learn social skills like communication because you're working in groups all the time. Since we are a small school, we are also able to get to know more of the students. I would be able to name most of the people in the school and I think that's something that's really cool. And we don't really have any cases where like bullying happens because we are just such a close and tight community. I think having critique and um, opinions from your teachers and administrative staff are, is really important as well, but it's also good to be able to depend on your peers to help you and you know that you can help them as well. We're not just here to personally learn, we're here to work with others. I love the project-based structure, but it gives me a chance to have freedom and to choose what I actually want to do in projects. Obviously in the real world, you'll probably have a boss or something, and so it's important to be able to respect them and follow what they say, but it's also a really good skill to be able to determine yourself what you need to do, what you need to get done, what can be put off until a later time, and just be able to be self-sufficient in the work that you're doing. Thank you.